Yo, what's up guys? It's Andrew from GarageBandProfessional.com. Today I'm going to show you how to get rid of background noise in GarageBand. Uh, it's probably going to be a short tutorial today, so uh, we'll just jump right into it. Um, first things first, I just want to mention the fact that um, I would say that the stock noise gate that comes in GarageBand, that's probably going to serve most of your most of your needs. There's really no need to get a more sophisticated plug-in. Um, however, I'm, I'm going to introduce another one though that you can use. Uh, we'll dive into the parameters of it and how to use it in some other tutorial. But anyway, I'm going to show you how to set up a noise gate right now, and including uh, how to get rid of you know unwanted back background noise. So what you want to do is you go into your smart controls of your track right here. Let's, uh, let's put this on. So yeah, you'll see the noise gate right here. This is a noise gate. So you, you just hit the box, then you drag it over to whatever, however much you you want. Um, but anyway, if you have your noise gate on, you set it to about negative 25. I set it uh, usually between negative 50 and negative 15 dB, as I wrote about here in the article. Um, that's pretty much all you really have to put on. Uh, any more than that, it's, you're going to be using it too much. Um, anyway, what's another thing I should mention here? Uh, yeah, I mean, you, you should really be careful in terms of uh, putting on a noise gate because you don't want to eliminate too much. Um, you might find that you end up getting a choppy vocal, you know. It, um, however, if you use it in combination with a compressor on your vocals, um, you'll notice that you're going to increase the loud sound and your, uh, excuse me, decrease the loud sound and increase the quiet sound. So you're going to uh, wind up with a vocal track where the, the little background noises are going to be much louder. So in that case, you know, a, tra a noise gate after the compressor in the signal chain is a, is a great move. Um, so I'll show you what that looks like right here. So here you have the, here's the signal chain. So you have your compressor right here and then the noise gate after. Now that's how I like to use it. Um, I find that is what sounds the best. You know, maybe other people would have a different way of doing it, but that's how I do it. But yeah, that's as simple as that. I mean, getting your noise gate set up, it's really just as simple as that. It doesn't take much work. Um, also, it's worth noting that there's, uh, if you click on the plugin itself, you can get presets as well. So there's about seven of them. By the way, I got a present for you. Go to producersociety.com slash free mixing cheat sheet. That'll put you on my list to get a free mixing cheat sheet. And I send all kinds of cool tips and stuff that I don't share anywhere else. You can also join my forum at forum.producersociety.com. Um, for now, it's totally free to sign up, but uh, in the future, I'll probably lock it down and then turn it into a full course platform. Anyway, moving on. Um, this is going to take a little bit more time. Uh, it's uh, how to eliminate unwanted background noise manually. So I already did it in this track, but uh, I'm just going to, we'll try it again. So what you want to do is you just go into your, your track like this, down into your smart controls. And uh, you see these like little points. Like there's these little areas right here where, you know, perhaps there's some sound in there, some undesired sound. So what you want to do is you just grab your, your ruler like that, use command T, and then use command T again, and then you just delete it. And there you go, you, that's how you delete like any, any parts where you can just get rid of the part completely and not worry about it, about uh, any you know transients in the background. Um, yeah, that's how you do it. Um, now, however, you're gonna find that you, you may run into some issues with this later on because if you try to Obviously, you can't loop a vocal track. Let's say you need to loop a vocal track and you have it cut in a whole bunch of different places on account of eliminating the uh, spaces in between the singing. You're going to find that you run into that issue where you can't loop it. So what you want to do is you go Command D to get a new track. I'm sure you know how to do all this, but you go uh, copy this one down here. So just copy it like that. So you get it to match up completely. Yeah. So there, they're matched up completely. And then you take this one and then you uh, copy and paste it down here. There you go. So now you got a new vocal track, but it, we've eliminated one part of it. So then if you want to merge it, you go 
you select it and go Command J, and that will merge it. Um, however, you may find that you're going to run into some issues with this because if you try and merge it, as I just did there, um, it's it's going to merge the two tracks together as it was before. So it's just going to bring back all those noises and stuff that you wanted to get rid of. So yeah, let's say that you wanna you wanna eliminate it, eliminate one part of a track, and then you wanna uh, you know you you went through and you eliminated all the little sounds in between the notes. So you go like that, you go like that. Say let's say that there was noise in there, and you go like this, like this. T, Command T again. So yeah, use the Command T function to do that. And then what you do is you bring these down, like here. Copy them, paste them like that. And then you go Command J. Non-contiguous audio regions require the creation of a new auto file. Now, that you need to get that warning sign. That warning sign is necessary to do this because otherwise if you Command J, if you merge these tracks together, um, and you don't get that sign, it means that you're just gonna merge everything back together and all the previous sounds and stuff and background hiss that you eliminated is just gonna appear in the track once again. So obviously we don't want that. So you wanna get this sign right here. So you go create. There you go, now you have a brand new track. It says merged. And uh, it's basically this one right here. It's this the same one right here, except I went in through and deleted all the undesirable sounds there. So essentially that's how you do that. Um, it's a little tricky, I can't, I'm not gonna lie to you, it's a little difficult to get it to do this, to do the non-contiguous thing, but, um, you know, I'm sure you'll get it with some trying. And uh, in terms of the plugin that I would use, the more sophisticated plugin that you wanna use, um, you can get it at VST for free. Um, if you're on my website, garagebandprofessional.com, um, you'll see the link right here, it's at vstforfree.com. It's the uh, Bob Perry noise gate. Um, I'm not gonna talk about this noise gate today too much. Um, we'll get into noise gates in a separate, separate article where I'll dive into you know, how to use a noise gate and all the different ways that you can use it. But today is just a simple you know, how to get rid of the background noise, so we'll just discuss that. But anyway, um, I guess that's all for today, and I'll see you guys in the next video.